Hey everybody, today, myself, Chris, we are in downtown Indianapolis, and we're gonna talk about a specific place in Indianapolis, or really a specific area of Indianapolis. And we're standing here on this really super complex corner, and you have Mass Ave going this way, down towards Monument Circle, and downtown proper in Indianapolis, and it shoots off to the northeast just here, but we're on the corner of Mass, but East Street and North Street. It's the northeast corner of something called Miles Square. And this is where most people think of downtown Indianapolis, although downtown Indianapolis isn't quite Miles Square, it's much bigger than that. But we're gonna talk about what you can find right here in Miles Square today. So stay tuned. Hey everybody, I'm Jason Compton. This is Chris Compton. The Compton Home Group. Welcome back to the channel. If this is your first time to the channel and you want to know everything you know about living in Indianapolis and any of the surrounding cities and towns, then make sure you hit the subscribe button and tap the little bell so you're notified every time we do a new video each and every week. Now we have people reaching out to us from all over the country with questions about Indianapolis and all the cities and towns that surround Indianapolis. So if you have any questions at all, then make sure that you reach out any way that you know how. We'll always have your back with those questions and we'll certainly have your back when it comes time for you to make your move to the Indy Metro. So again, today we are in downtown Indianapolis and we are on the northeast corner of Mile Square. Now Mile Square, is part of the original plat laid out of Indianapolis by Alexander Ralston. And you'll notice something whenever you look at Indianapolis compared to Washington, D.C. You'll see essentially a square in the center and then you'll have these diagonal streets coming out of it. And Indianapolis definitely has that pattern. So this crazy intersection, we were trying to figure six out, way yeah, six way intersection. So if we swing around here and take a look at this crazy intersection, Going that direction is probably the most popular or the most well-known of the diagonal streets in Indianapolis. It's Mass Ave. And if you go this direction here, this is East Street, to the going north and south on East Street, and looking straight down this road here is North Street. So we are literally on the corner of Mile Square where North Street and East Street meet. Mile Square is east side of the square. Yeah. yeah, yeah, over there, that's the east side of the square. Mile Square is bordered very conveniently by North Street on the north side, South Street on the south side, East Street on the east side, and you probably guess West Street on the west side. So it's very easy to know when you're inside of Mile Square and when you're outside of it. But Mile Square is kind of the quintessential downtown Indianapolis. But downtown Indianapolis, the definition is actually a whole lot bigger than that. So the true definition of downtown Indianapolis goes all the way up to 16th Street on the north side and off to our east, and we can kind of see it just barely over there, 65 and 70 where it's combined and it turns into the north split where 65 and 70 do split from one another. But that's the east side of downtown. The south side of downtown is where 70 cuts through Indianapolis going east to west or west to east. And then the Beltway Railroad over on the, the west side makes up the western border of downtown. But when people think about downtown, think about Mile Square usually, right? And everything, yeah, yeah usually everything that's going on in here. Definitely, but Monument in Monument Circle for sure, yeah. But they'll think about downtown and stuff like Lucas Oil Stadium or what used to be Victory Banker's Field. Life, Banker's yeah, or Life. Victory Field. It's not Banker's Life anymore, now it's Gainbridge. White River State Park. Yeah, White River State Park. Those are all places that are in downtown but they're not in Mile Square. They're actually a little bit outside of it. So Mile Square is what people typically think of, but they're a little surprised a lot of times to figure out that, well, those places aren't really in Mile Square. So we're just gonna visit each of the corners essentially in Mile Square here today in this video and just look to see where they are and what you can actually see on each of those corners. So this one here happens to be the most well-known, like I said, because you have Mass Ave and Mass Ave has all kinds of restaurants, shops, really unique places, and plenty to do here during the day, also in the evening, a lot of nightlife here as well. It's a very, very popular location, but it's one of those diagonal streets that goes out and away from Miles Square, just like it does out in Washington, D.C. This one happens to go out to the northeast. It's a very, very cool, very popular spot in Indianapolis. All right, now we took our scooters on over to the northwest corner of Miles Square, and right here, 
We are standing along Indiana Avenue, basically enough, the state of Indiana. But this place is really well known for the Madame Walker Theater, which is right across the street. And then you have the Kurt Vonnegut Museum right back here behind me, who's, if you don't know who Kurt Vonnegut is, super famous writer from Indianapolis. He wrote books like Cat's Cradle and Slaughterhouse-Five and a bunch of others as well. And you can tell that this is a pretty loud area as well because the border, the western border of Mile Square is West Street. And West Street is absolutely, the sun is not near the screen here, very, very busy. And you can see the JW Hotel just off in the distance. And it's a street that gets traversed a lot. You have IUPUI University right down here as well. I'm actually looking at it just off to the, the south and the west. So this particular corner of Mile Square happy, very happy very crowded most of the time as far as the traffic's concerned. Now we've scootered down to the southwest corner of Mile Square and there isn't anything here that's super, super interesting to come and see until you go just a little bit north of here in Victory Field, just kind of see the lights in the background in that JW Marriott Hotel, the big, tall, shiny, slick looking building right behind it. But of course, right behind Chris and I, over here, just to the east of us, got Lucas Oil Stadium but this is West Street and we're looking at again that super busy street going north south and then this another pretty busy street is South Street on the south corner all the way back there in front of Lucas Oil Stadium now the interesting thing here is that the diagonal street you would actually see like Indiana Avenue cutting through Miles Square and Mass Ave cutting through Miles Square on the northeast side this would have Kentucky Avenue but Kentucky Avenue doesn't quite make it up to this corner, but that would be that diagonal street that essentially extends out of Mile Square on that southwest side. So next, we're gonna head over to the last one, right? Yep, roll. All right, our last stop here on Mile Square is far on the far southeast corner where you can see South Street, the southern border, going all the way back that way, back to Lucas Oil Stadium, just off to the left. And you can see downtown right there behind me, and then East Street, is right here going north and south. Now, this particular corner of Mile Square, there is quite a bit going on here. You have Anthem Insurance Company, big employer here in Indianapolis is just right there. Eli Lilly is just down the street, down South Street. It's not in Mile Square, it's on the south end of it, but it's just down the street here. But a couple of really cool, really popular neighborhoods just down Virginia Street, which is the diagonal street going off to the southeast from Mile Square. You have Fletcher Place, and then if you keep going right down the cultural trail, there's actually a, literally a trail that you can walk down, you can bike down, or you can scooter down like we're doing today, down through Fletcher Place, across the highway, and into Fountain Square, which is a, a big time up and coming neighborhood. It's been popular now for a number of years. There's a lot of new construction, newer homes going in there, and some of the older homes taken out, and you can have kind of a strange mix of older and newer homes all the way through there, but it has a neat little downtown area as well with some restaurants and shops, things like that in Fountain Square. But that is right down Virginia Avenue. So Mile Square, we just kind of went around the whole thing. We're gonna go back to the north where we started, we're gonna go north on East Street up to North Street where we're parked for the day and get back to it. And we've made super loud trucks, a complete <laughs> circle or square around Mile Square. But that's what most people think of downtown Indianapolis really being, although it is certainly much bigger than that. And some of the big landmarks here in Indianapolis are really truly outside of that Mile Square. So plenty of places to live in Mile Square and just outside of it. There are plenty of neighborhoods. If you get inside Mile Square, you're probably looking a little bit more at townhomes and condos, things like that. But there's some neighborhoods that kind of touch on it, especially up to the north, Mass Ave, like Chatham Arch, Lockerbie Square, neighborhoods like that where you can actually get into some single family detached homes and be near what Mile Square has to offer. So if you have any questions about downtown Indianapolis, Mile Square, or anything Indianapolis or surrounding Indy, then make sure you reach out to us. And until the next one, we'll see you later.